Central New York's most accurate forecast. I do there, Central New York, on this late Friday night. Uh, look at these numbers for you. Yeah, 71. Okay, you're like, oh, it was cooler than yesterday's. 80, yeah. But look at the low, 57. And look at the average high. Yeah, I know. So our low was three degrees warmer than our average high. That tells you. Uh, how mild it was last night. Gives you some perspective, right? 23 degrees above normal with the low. And that's why the trees are starting to bud more, right? They're starting to bud. You get more greenery in the grass. Just wait till we get that rain at the end of the weekend. And things are really blossoming. Watch for the, the wheezing and sneezing with the allergies. Uh, one hundredth of an inch of water. That's all at the airport. And most areas had less than a tenth of an inch uh, midday afternoon today. Temperatures mid 50s, Q's, um, 60s, 70s um, to the southwest. Ohio River Valley into the 80s here in the Evansville area uh, earlier today. And it's this air mass. All right, that is going to move over us as we go into the day tomorrow. So you combine that with a good deal of sunshine and a bit of a southerly breeze, and I got to believe that we're going to challenge this record high. So we got a forecast high of 83. The record set back in 1945 is 82. I think it could go down if we get enough sun. Going for it. Live Doppler 9, it is quiet. Nothing going on there. Live, uh, we go from Live Doppler 9 to the Timecast, and you can see as we go through the overnight, um, ho hum. Yeah. Clear to partly cloudy here in Syracuse, points north, but some low clouds to the south and east of Syracuse, down toward Cortland, Ithaca, Norwich, maybe even parts of Madison County. And you'll start off with some extra clouds, especially south and east of Syracuse. Tomorrow morning, you'll be like, what's going on here? Don't worry, be patient. We'll get the sun out for everyone by the late morning and afternoon hours. Temperatures will jump and respond to that sun. There's a southerly breeze, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Temperature scooting up. Uh, this is too low, these numbers. Let's add on 5 to 10 degrees. We'll say low 80s or so for many. There'll be some 70s too. Either way, a slice of a summery day and a summery night tomorrow night. 55 to 60 for a low tomorrow night, all right, with a breeze. Clouds increase, and I think we stay dry tomorrow night. I think rain comes in uh, near daybreak on Sunday, all righty? Sunday morning's kind of wet. Some rain showers, maybe a few downpours in the mix, maybe a rumble of thunder. And then it's more like scattered showers for our Sunday afternoon as this cold front kind of moves its way into the area and kind of stalls out with scattered showers Sunday night. And there'll be a few showers around as we roll into the day on Monday as well. So how much rain are we talking about uh, as we head into Sunday? All right, we're looking at a half an inch to as much as an inch or inch and a half. So a nice beneficial shot of rain that we need. It's been beautiful the last several days, right? Doesn't take a meteorologist to tell you that one. That's thanks to the jet stream, a ridge here in the east, giving us the unseasonable warmth and all that sunshine overall and the dry weather. Well, it's going to flatten out late in the week and into next week. And as a result of that, all right, we lose the blocking pattern. We actually get more seasonable. 60s early next week, 50s later in the week, and then late next week, next weekend, we start to watch this batch of very cold air stays north of us for now. <laughs> Watch it later in the month, though, okay? There's some signs that may try to make a little visit to us. We'll see. Anyway, uh, again, as we go into next week, it's a scattering of showers and temperatures cooling, but no washouts next week, guys.